days. <clears throat> I haven't done a video in a while, but uh, uh, I have been been getting things. Uh, but I want to start off with this one. <coughs> uh, this is a Fender Jimi Hendrix Artist Series uh, that has been fully relicked in the most awesome of ways. The fretboard, the frets, all sorts of like the hardware, the colors, and it's in a, all the right places. It does have this sticker on here. Um, I peeled up a little bit of it uh, up here and, and put it back down. Um, the color appears to be exactly the same under there, but I would just prefer to, to let uh, whoever the next owner is have at it. Very, very cool. Um, the thing he nailed, because I have, well, he nailed a lot of things. Uh, this was done professionally. This wasn't a, done in a garage. This guy named Mike Punk um, uh, from Brand New Stores. And uh, he he is a professional luthier and reliquer. Um, what he did really nail, I don't know how well it's going to come up, but the, um, okay, see how it's coming up there. The sanding of the back of the neck or however exactly, like, it's not just sanding it down. There's something else to it that Fender themselves won't quite reveal. <laughs> um, or unless someone can correct me, but it feels just, it feels exactly the same as my Fender Custom Shop Heavy Relic Strat. And it's just the best feeling neck. It's, it's not satin. It's not lacquer. It's, I, I, I really, you know, I would, uh, I hope somebody else can kind of correct me on this, but um, the guitar is all original, just relic. So in a sense, it's actually mint, um, just full, uh, just full on relic. With the Jimmy signature back here, and of course the uh, the Hendrix back plate and everything, or the Hendrix uh, neck plate, um, and the back plate was removed and gone. But I, mean, I don't know if anybody wants a back plate. I'm sure you have seven dollars. For a genuine fender backplate with screws, so um, yeah, it's awesome. It's really awesome. It comes with a uh, with a fender, uh, the really deluxe, uh, nice cases, the 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 black with the three latches. I I think they're TSA cases. I'm pretty sure. Um, that unfortunately, um, the handle got chewed on by a rabbit. That's an actual real story. The case is in excellent, like excellent condition. And I grabbed the handle and I was like, he goes. My daughter's rabbit got to it, so if you want to put a new handle on, I was like, oh man, I feel for you. Um, but yeah, this guitar is insanely cool. Um, right now, I have it for sale um, on Reverb, and this video is for Reverb, um, or, and of course for my channel. I am going to play it a little. You know what, I actually, really, I, like the, I like the dirtiness of the knobs. And also, my 50, so my uh, custom shop uh, broadcaster also has this, uh, you can see with the maple, like that dirt on either side of the frets that they do just so well. It looks exactly the same as my 51 um, broadcaster. It's, it's really cool how they do that. Uh, and of course, the frets themselves, them, themselves are perfect, you know, uh, nowhere bright and shiny. Yeah, this is going to be a fun one to play. So, anyway, if anybody has any questions, um, of course, reach out. Uh, I'll do a quick playing example. Uh, I guess let's get some, some crunch on the Mesa. Let's see where we end up. This is my first time plugging it in, too. So, we're all going to experience it together.
wish I did some Hendrix riffs. This is a terribly thought out uh, video. <laughs> pick up that um uh that bright uh because uh again uh, this is the old school um well the classic wiring so the tone control i don't believe comes in until position two yeah and on position one it does nothing but um this is not that bright and i thought i thought the treble up and presence was pretty good go through everything uh i had no pre-planned uh pre-planned riffs here so uh you know the jim the classic jimmy hendrix score uh, okay let's go to position two i must say by the way the deck is thinner than i expect it to be um uh i think it's great uh, i know that the radius is supposed to be a little bit flatter uh, but the, the neck is just a tad uh, thinner than I, I guess I thought it was going to be. Uh, or maybe I've just been playing too many uh, 50s Les Pauls lately. Uh, but it is awesome. It is awesome. We're going to have to do this unclean. Anyway, uh, middle. Anything else, but um, 
uh, as far as the, the video goes. Sorry, uh, I had a very long day and it's very late. But <clears throat> if you know, if you want a relic guitar, um, you know, again, that was professionally done. I mean, you know, try and get a custom shop anywhere near the, the price that I'm going to list this for. Um, but uh, I think it's awesome. And this sticker I like too, but that's up to everybody else. Um, and I'm not just saying that I think it's awesome because... I'm selling it. You know, I'd like to point that out uh, as the last, you know, thing I'm going to say here. And I probably should start with this, but, um, yes, of course I buy things. Yes, I sell them, but oh, don't buy it. I'll keep it. That's, that's fine. If nobody buys it, I'll keep it. I, I really, and I think that's how I get myself in trouble a lot of times. Also just to how I stay, you know, genuine, you know, and I, you know, I feel like I've had, I've held so many guitars and had so many come through my hands. I mean, I gotta be over a thousand guitars through my hands, you know, um, I think it's awesome, and, uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions, and, uh, I am going to post it, if anybody wants to, you know, just talk about it more on, on my channel, um, maybe I'll still have it in a few months, and maybe I'll, maybe I'll post a video where I said, you know, I decided to keep it, um, so we'll see what happens, but yes, my honest opinion, how I actually feel about it, it's, it definitely feels better than most of the Mexican ones I've played. And I don't think that's because of the relicking, relicking job. I just think that they put a little more uh, into this guitar. I mean, I know it has American Vintage 64 pickups or whatever they are, 60s pickups. And, um, you know, of course, you know, the classic vintage uh, style tuners. We, uh, I do love these where you pop the string in and then wrap it around like the old school locking tuner. Um, yeah, I don't know. To me, to me, I think it's pretty awesome. So, uh if anybody else thinks it's awesome, we can talk. If you don't, I probably just bought another guitar. So, appreciate it.